mandate county in Chernigov. So I urge the Central Election Commission and Homeland Security Department to do everything in order to make these elections really free and fair. And uh, I am really concerned about both uh, election day and election night. Uh, so I strongly recommend Central Election Commission to act only in line with the Ukrainian legislation. Because you know this is like a test or another benchmark on Ukrainian democracy. So it's important for us probably to have a meeting with the Central Election Commission and to send a new observers and technical mission to support us to hold free and fair municipal elections too. As uh, these elections at 205 uh, single mandate county is just a premature stage for the next municipal elections which are to be held in the country on the 25th of October. Uh, in my, my biggest concern for, the, for September, it's not just municipal elections, because you know, before the municipal elections, uh, politicians usually go crazy. Uh, but my biggest concern is uh, social and economic stability in the country. Uh, we do understand, uh, uh, everyone knows that uh, we still are underfunded, so too much depends on the outcomes of the debt restructuring operations, and we expect to have the, the IMF board meeting on the 31st of July to get the next IMF tranche. Uh, the government met all uh, priority actions, we met all criteria that were set uh, by the IMF, uh, so we expect that uh, the decision of the board uh, will be a successful one, but this is not the final solution. What we need, we definitely need to boost Ukrainian economy and to support those in need, because living standards drop substantially and the government is trying to find a way how to increase social expenditures and how to increase uh, wages and salaries for those who have the lowest living standards in the country. And this is the key challenge today. I truly appreciate our cooperation and uh, your strong stance and the strong stance of the European Parliament, how to support Ukrainian people in uh, actually confronting and winning on both fronts. On the one hand, this is a Russian-led aggression. On the other hand, a huge, tremendous, I would say, social, political, and economic problem we are facing. Um, so we do believe that uh, um, due to our concerted actions, we are to build a success story, despite, uh, once again, all challenges the country is facing right now.